y'all Texas beekeeper here uh, just gonna go through some hives today uh, and try to evaluate whether or not I should start the CC Miller splitting uh, a little hesitant to do it because like last year I'm, I'm short on equipment and uh, it really seemed to fill up the equipment pretty fast you're uh, taking your starter colony moving the eggs all the laid up frames from the queen to a new location moving that current location somewhere else so you get all the returning field bees to this new location plus this one keeps getting its returning field bees but you put the queen back here in nine days on the other colony you'll have a bunch of drawn up uh, queen cells because that is supposed to be your second strongest location you'll have a bunch of drawn up queen cells which you then make splits with and I was making about three splits every nine days doing that and that's just taking like a frame of brood from each colony so uh, we're gonna just go through see if it looks like we've got the resources I've already done a lot of splits just uh, you know still in frames and making splits so a little reluctant to do it this early um, but also I'd like to get started so let's go and check it out see see what everything looks like it may be a no-go all right so this is the one that we took all of the brood from last year to make our splits and uh, they've done pretty good this is a this is a uh, three frame deep okay so they're looking all right up here in the top i think we've got a ton of honey up here i don't think this is you know maybe some brood but mostly honey uh would be my guess anyways just looking at it see what kind of mood they're in Need to find my other hive tool. This one's a little wider. And doesn't get down in there quite as nice. All right, we got it. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this frame and set it aside. It's just got bees on it. Calm, you know, again, this is why I wanted these bees. Because they uh, are usually pretty calm now when you get in there and start tearing their hive apart and doing all kinds of crazy stuff all bets are off but uh, they uh, they probably gonna be okay So here's one with a lot of nice drawn out comb on this side. Let me get the camera to take a look. Got some pollen in there, some nectar. Uh, good looking frame of freshly drawn out comb. This is solid honey with a little bit of pollen on the bottom. And lower that one back down and uh, we'll see what we get next <clears throat> all right so these frames are grabbing down below just pry them up these are the ones that <laughs> stick to the frames on the bottom when I pull the box off and forget to twist it all right a lot of eggs down there at the bottom so we're gonna start looking for that queen but that's uh, mostly all eggs so she laid those probably two days ago they're falling over two to three days ago they might be emerging very soon should have brought my marker and my scissors with me because I can't remember which ones are already marked 
and clipped. I would assume this one is, but I do not know that for a fact. All right, just enough to pry it off the bottom. All right. Here we've got a lot of brood already, so I was wrong. There's, there's a lot of brood up here. Got some drone cells there at the bottom. Uh, and a band of honey up top. And same on this side. Eggs toward the outside. Brood in the middle. Got a queen cup there at the bottom. Let's see if she's charged. I don't see anything in it, but it's also kind of dark. So we're going to lower that back down gently. And pry up on the next one. And now I suspect they're all going to look about the same. And yes. This one too has a ton of brood. Look at that. Eggs on the outside, capped brood in the middle, some drone brood. I did a mite test on this one and there was, I don't remember, zero or one mite out of 300 in uh, All of the samples that I took from this apiary. Good looking bees, good looking bees. So let's go another one. Got it broke from the bottom, now let's break it from the side. There is a little bit of flex in these plastic frames, but uh, you know, it's not too bad. You get used to them. All right, another, another one here. Got some emerging drones there at the bottom. Uh, so that's nice to see. Good brood frame. Very nice brood frame. Uh, same on this side. Emerging drones. Lots of bees, lots of drones. A lot of pollen. Oh, they're just they're doing great I suspect uh, you know during the winter this these frames are all pretty filled up with honey so yeah I'm thinking they uh, they emptied those out and started filling with brood here's a solid pollen frame with a little bit of brood on the bottom she's already looking it looks like for spots to lay there's eggs there a lot of pollen here don't see eggs yet uh, but uh, that's probably probably coming unless I've got other spots for her to lay but uh, <clears throat> so I think looking thus far, I think we could start the CC Miller for sure. This whole brood box could come off, and uh, a little sting there. Probably need to get some smoke in. Okay, so yeah, looking at what we've got, I think we're good as long as we've got some other colonies that can also contribute. So I'm not even going to go further because there's, there's brood up here, there's most likely some brood down below, 
And what we'll be doing is removing this top box, putting it off to the side, and then looking for the queen. Uh, but there's still two boxes down below. And if any of those are empty with just comb, even better. Because uh, that'll give her plenty of spots to lay. But I think for now, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's go time from what I see so far. So we're going to move on to another colony and I'll report back and see what we got. <clears throat> All right. So I just ran around the bee yard gathering up nuke boxes, uh, three frame mating nuke boxes, anything I could find. And I've got probably 13 14 oh you know what there's two about 16 maybe uh boxes empty boxes a lot of them need lids thankfully that's the easiest part right get a board put it over the top uh so i've got about 16 that'll cover about a month and a half two months of cc miller uh plus as I'm taking those overwintered nukes and moving those into full 10 frames, uh, that's going to free up more nukes for the CC Miller splits. So I think I'll be able to get probably 20, 25. Uh, I've got a few. I've got a few options. Um, so. I don't think we're doing too bad you know i think we're gonna I, I started the year with 44 uh i lost one this year so i was at 43 and i did uh, 13 splits so far hopefully all of those come back uh, mated and we'll have 56 and if i can add 20 25 my goal is to at least get to 75 if i can go well beyond that that's great but i'd like to be at no less than 75 by the end of the year so adding about you know we're looking at adding about 25 30 25 to 30 from what we were so i think it's looking good equipment equipment and money those are the <laughs> money gets equipment and time um, but those are the limiting factors right now but i think we're doing okay i think we're gonna hopefully get to our 75 maybe beyond that'd be great uh, moving some colonies out to a different bee yard in the morning uh, that'll free up some space to put some of these uh, i'll probably have to go get some more hive stands and figure out places to put those just looked over there and found another lid unfortunately it's not the kind of lid that i need right now i don't think but uh so it's looking okay we're gonna go ahead and get started on the cc miller i gotta first find out where i'm gonna put this guy uh and then we'll get going so we made our made our move i've got the box top box from over here in the top of here with all the eggs I do still need to locate my queen so what I'm gonna do because these weren't happy about being moved and just to let them calm down even more I'm gonna go over to this box and look for the queen if I can't find her then I have to go through this one uh, so we moved the the hive that was here over this way um, so they're gonna basically be a colony on their own the setback for them is going to be that they don't have the returning field force but it is a strong you know a strong colony so the emerging bees from there are going to build up they'll be fine this one has the returning field force uh, but no queen or eventually we're going to verify no queen and this one over here that's going to be our our, our uh, hive that donates all the eggs to this one every nine days so i'm going to move the camera to the left and we're going to go through this other hive all right y'all so suited up because uh 
what I noticed last year when doing this CC Miller uh, method, they really don't get happy. And I think it's mostly going to be that colony that you're that you're moving them to. Uh, but just as a precaution, I'm going to go through this one with you know with gloves and. If it turns out to not be bad, I may take them off because I hate working with gloves. But uh, we've already got a bunch flying around. I believe those are probably from over here uh, because they are they are a little bit more uh, upset right now with what's been going on. But uh, so here I'm gonna go through. I'm just gonna make sure the queen is here, uh, and then we're gonna donate frames of brood if this is jam-packed with brood I'm not gonna worry about it you know I mean, th if it's jam-packed with brood then we're not gonna take from any other ones until the next nine days uh, because that's the thing is you want and really I think I'm supposed to take uh, this whole colony was supposed to get moved but uh, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Look at that. Okay, they're not happy. Empty. Well, I think they have laid these up already. 
hard to see. Oh yeah, a lot of milk fruit in here. Same with this one. Look at that. Like she's, these have already because she lays from the middle out, and there's eggs and milk fruit in here. So she's already laid this up. They've already emerged, and she's back on her second round. You know, she goes from the center out. So these are about to emerge, and then she'll lay those up. This is great. Powerhouse of a queen. And, and the whole top box had, I don't remember if it was five or six frames, so we're looking at a lot of brew from just this one queen. Same here, lots of, lots of brew. My guess is this one was probably, uh, you know, had some food stores in it. Uh, not seeing the queen yet, which is what I want to see. But lots of food, lots and lots of food. This is great. Uh, I'm really glad I had my bee, bee suit with me. Because uh, if I'd have opened this thinking, oh, that'd be all right, I would have had a uh, pretty bad surprise. A lot of brood here. So she's killing it. She's killing it on the brood. She's doing a great job. Sure would like to see her. Uh, but so far, really hope she's not in that other box. Because uh, that's going to damper things. Alright, this is all pollen. Don't see any eggs on this one. And more pollen. frames of brood down here and uh, four to five in the top so uh, overall just a great great strong colony doing a lot uh, now what I need to do is move them so we can get a peek down in the bottom. Like I said, we're looking for that queen. Yeah, it's pretty light. So that's mostly uh, bruised there. A drone here. We've got a lot of eggs, a lot of eggs, a lot of brood. Um, but you know, you always heard you don't have to find the queen. All you have to do is see eggs. But in this case, because I'm doing the CC Miller splitting, I do need to find the queen because I need her to be in this hive, not the other one that I moved. Uh, the uh, good news about the other one is it's smaller. I basically took their whole hive aside from the top of this one. It's not going to be quite as cool, so she should be easier to see. Okay, this is all nectar, but that's why I'm trying to locate the queen. So usually the, the story is true. If you, if you see eggs, you're done. You don't need to find the queen. But yeah, in this case, I do. A lot of pollen more cells that 
could be laid up soon. So that's great. Again, you want to give her plenty of room to lay. Uh, this queen is where you're getting eggs from. So you have to have places for her to lay. That's the whole point of this. A lot of pollen. So they've got a lot of resources here. But, uh, yeah, what I'm seeing looks good. More empty combs and more places to lay. This is great. Just looking for the queen. food on these girls uh, because they really don't have a ton of food they've mostly got uh, brood so need to get food on them ASAP so I'll be doing that as soon as I locate the queen Comb or drone comb. Uh, pretty cool to see. Right. So unfortunately, I did not find her. So we're gonna have to go through that other box and locate her, uh, or not. And if we don't, then we have to come back to here and find her. But. For now, I didn't see it. A lot of bees on the side of the box there. Just an overall pretty strong colony. So yeah, I gotta get some feet on here. What I'm gonna do is give them a whole nother box uh, to draw out comb if they want, uh, and you give them some sugar syrup. Uh, there's plenty of open uh, comb in here. The queen will lay that up. Nine days, I moved that. Uh, but for now, they are a little light on food, so I'm gonna put one to two feeders in here and just boost them. Boost them with food, uh, get, them, get them back where they need to be. Because the top box, they were had a little bit of honey, honey in it, but they were clearing it out already, laying more brood. So really, really, really expanding uh, this colony right now. They're they're doing great. Uh, we're gonna move over to this other one. So this is the one that we had just moved. As you can see, they're already up in the top. This is all the bees that we moved plus the returning field force. Uh, they're doing 
a great job. I could get rid of this bar. It's meant for a divider. It just slides in there. Uh, since I'm not splitting this colony into nukes or quad nukes right now, that's not needed. So, now we gotta find a queen in this colony. Uh, hopefully, if we don't, then uh, we gotta go back and look in the other one. Um, I believe her to be marked. Pretty sure she is, but I don't know that for a fact. I think she is. So. Unless I swap out a frame for uh, or two for the feeder, I could do that. But right now, just looking for the queen. Got some eggs in these cells at the bottom. So again, she's any spot she can find, she's looking for to lay up. Top here, they probably got crushed from uh, the lid going down. Got queen cups, Just scraping some of those dead bees off. Queen cups, eggs, lots of milk brood. Looks good. shake her in here. Okay. All right, I just witnessed her crawl in. So that was easy. take gloves off and take thousands of stings. So that explains why this other hive was in a bad mood. Uh, 
but uh, I think I think we're in a good spot now. What we're gonna do is get to uh, feeding that other colony, and uh, and we're done here for the day. All right. Thank you all for watching.